they tend to eat, 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 eat because they're so hungry. Okay. So they're constantly in starvation mode because their body isn't getting nourished. Welcome to the Healthy Celiac Show. I'm your host, Belinda Whelan from belindawhelan.com. And here you will learn to live your very best life with celiac disease. So we are going to be talking all about health related topics because you, my friend, are more than just a woman with celiac disease. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss an episode and welcome to the show. Right, welcome back to this week's show. Now, on episode 74, I was talking about the reasons that you may have gained weight going gluten-free, and this week I wanted to talk about some of the reasons that people lose weight once they've gone gluten-free. So, we're talking about after a diagnosis, okay? So, many people find that before their diagnosis they lose weight, but some people find that it's actually after their diagnosis. So let's talk about the reasons that that can happen and help you to see if it's a good thing or whether it's something that you need to address. All right. So the main one that I look at is inflammation. So inflammation in your body can make you seem a lot bigger than you are. It can cause a lot of puffiness. It can cause your belly to look completely different. Um, so when you cut out the gluten, your body is way less inflamed. So you're going to drop some weight purely from that, just from the inflammation going down. So that's an easy one to address. Now, the next thing is many people that actually get diagnosed with celiac disease, see it as a blessing that may be you, that may not be you. You may see this as a burden and be hating life and upset and annoyed and all of those emotions, which is perfectly normal. But for many people, they see getting celiac disease a blessing. Um, I personally see it as a blessing. You've probably heard me talk about this. It's made me take my life in a very positive direction. I am very healthy. I look after my health. I look after my family's health because I'm continuously learning about the benefits of living a healthy life. So I do see that many people with celiac disease go along that path as well. They want to be healthy. They want to feel good. They want to look after themselves. So when you have more awareness around your food, you are absolutely making sure that you're consuming better foods. Okay. So if If, for example, you're looking for a gluten-free food, you're already reading the ingredients. So you may have more of an awareness of the foods that you're consuming, okay? Because you're already reading that panel on the back of your food, you may be more conscious of the amount of sugars, the amount of unhealthy fats, the amount of nasties in your food. So because you're having more of an awareness around that, you're less likely to reach for foods that aren't good for you and aren't nourishing you. So that's a really fantastic benefit of being diagnosed with celiac disease. I think that's one of the best things when my clients and people that I speak with, they go down that route. I think it's just, yeah, such a positive to take from your celiac diagnosis. Absolutely. So eating more healthy, being more aware of what you're consuming and making sure that you're nourishing your body. And because you're not hungry all the time can be another reason as well. So some people before their diagnosis, they tend to eat, 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 eat because they're so hungry. Okay. So they're constantly in starvation mode because their body isn't getting nourished. And I saw this in my son before he had his non-celiac gluten sensitivity diagnosis. He didn't stop eating. He still eats a lot, but he did not stop eating. It was like he had hollow legs. You've probably heard that saying before, but it was like he had hollow legs. And no matter how much food he had, he just wasn't getting any goodness from it. It was just constantly, constantly hungry. So if your body is healing and you're not needing that nourishment as much or as often, you might be finding that you're eating less food than you were beforehand. So your body naturally starts to shed some of the weight away from your body because you don't need it. 
I know this is probably something that many people aren't aware of, but mindset is a huge one when it comes to weight loss as well. So when you are feeling better in your mind and yourself, you can naturally lose weight as well. And it's quite interesting how the body receives information that we think about. So when you're thinking negative thoughts about your body, your body is actually reading all of that information and you're listening to those thoughts because that's that's basically the law of attraction working right there. And if you're, you know, telling yourself all these horrible things that, you know, food is nasty or you hate life or, you know, your body is overweight, you're thinking all these horrible things before your celiac disease diagnosis and then you get a diagnosis and you start to eat better, you start to think better, you're starting to love your body again, your body will naturally start to release those pounds or those kilos from your body. It's incredible how that works. So that is definitely something that I could talk to for day, talk to you guys for days about, um, but it might not make sense to some of you. So I won't go too deep into it, but I just wanted to mention it because it is quite incredible how the body does receive messages from our thoughts. So if you'd like more information on that, let me know because I can definitely do more of an episode on that and I would love to share more about that. But if it's a bit woo-woo or weird, (laughs) then I won't go down that track. So yeah, reach out to me. Let me know in a message on Instagram at The Healthy Celiac if that's something that you're interested in learning more about. But otherwise, I think they're probably the main sort of areas that I see in people that they lose weight after a celiac diagnosis. Now, if you've tuned into this episode thinking that you're going to learn how to eat gluten-free to drop weight, this this episode's just targeted at my fellow celiacs. I'm not basically talking to the general public on gluten-free diet because my opinion on that is if you want to lose weight on a gluten-free diet and you don't have celiac disease, then you should be focusing on real food, not packaged gluten-free food. The more real food that doesn't come from a package, basically food that comes from the earth that's naturally gluten-free, that's where people lose weight. That's where you can have a focus on eating well and, and dropping weight that way. And that's the healthy way to do it rather than changing over from what you're currently eating to eating gluten-free packaged food because as I've spoken about in the past many packaged gluten-free foods have got lots of extra fats and sugars to make up for the flight lack of flavor they've got a lot of salt and a lot of additives so it's not not necessarily the best choice for people to be changing over to just focus on real food that's that's as simple as it can be all right I hope that's interesting. I hope that helps. And yeah, like I said, if you want me to elaborate on that last little subject there, just let me know. But very quick episode for you today. And yeah, I'm interested to hear back from some of you guys. So please let me know. And I will talk with you again next week. So have a fantastic week and I will talk with you again very, very soon. Take care. Bye. If you enjoyed this episode, head to BelindaWhelan.com to get yourself a free copy of my exclusive ebook, 11 Mistakes People Make Going Gluten-Free Living With Celiac Disease. 